to describe the tarp jig so this is the dispenser you load the roll on vertically and it just simply spins off onto this jig this jig what is it so it's five two by fours um, it's got some casters underneath and you can see that screw will kind of come out and be its pivot point. I can probably figure out a better pivot point, but that'll be its pivot point. And the casters just kind of keep it moving freely. Uh, so it's a big spinning guy. So you spin the, you spin everything off of the roll and onto this jig. It is currently made so that your loops are 20 feet. So you can roll, spin a whole roll onto this jig and they'll all be at the right length and then this channel right here put your blade in there and you cut right down and then you cut all five tarps to the right length at the same time so this is set up for 20 feet right now so with the jig I have it measured right here for 20 feet but I have the 25 foot lines right there so you can unscrew those two main 2x4s two from each other and when they slide out and you line up the two 25 foot lines now it's you know 12 and a half feet long ish so that it'll spin 25 foot tarps out so you can then do four at once and do a single cut um, I imagine you know the pivot point will be important I imagine you'll have two people once you put the roll on, you don't need to attend to that. And then you have one person on each end of these as you spin it up. And then when you're done, you'll do the single cut. And then you'll take all of them off. And then you'll do the sash fold. So again, that sash fold is you uh, fold it in half, fold it in half again lengthwise. And then you do a three foot flop, a flop fold. So you take three feet and you flop it. And then you take another three feet and you flop that again. So you keep flopping it so it makes a loop and then you open up the loop and you can get inside the loop and it looks like a sash um, but you can unfold part of it and load stuff into it and it's a very very good messenger bag of sorts um, so I think that the folding is not as efficient maybe as rolling but I think maybe because of the sash fold you actually get something useful and in the disaster you can actually use it as a carrying device um, either over your shoulder or I actually think you can put it so that it rests on your forehead you can carry stuff on your back and so it can hold a lot of stuff on your back so I imagine that would be a really good thing you could probably carry you know a five gallon bucket worth of water uh, on your back pretty easily with that setup and I think that would be pretty awesome in a disaster scenario so that's what we got um, so I think there's definitely some of the horizontal solutions that play a little bit better, but I think this is a valid option. It's uh, pretty interesting. I think it would be worth trying out in real production and see what problems arise. So, all right, thanks, guys.